Greg from Great Drams here with a whiskey review, Craig Ellicky 13. Now if I pick up the bottle, just show you what it's all about. Stunning design, a little bit biased as I, I know the uh, designers very well, but at the exact same time they've really delivered and created something here that captures the essence of the brand perfectly. You'll probably see that you've got a defined age statement, you've got bespoke embossed glass, you have the batch number, so there will be variances between batches, I'm sure, and this wonderful line, uh, which if you saw the, uh, the, the full range video um, recently, you'll see, or you've heard me talk about old fashioned in 1891 which captures the essence of the place, the non-showy nature of the brand, the fact that it isn't looking to be out there and amazing and doing all the kind of film, film deals and all of that kind of stuff. It is an amazing brand, an amazing whiskey, without having to really shout about it, it still wins the awards. Further up the range, sure, and they're all related, right? Lovely sense of place with the illustration of the distillery. You've got the 13 year old back again here, a lovely bit of embossing and some stories on the back. And for you, those of you who haven't seen the other Craig Ellicke videos, let me just explain this. Craig Ellicke is different for a number of reasons. It, the distillery uses worm tubs, so they're much more expensive than traditional or modern condensers and cooling systems. Um, because they use tons and tons of pipes, lots of copper contact, and create a sulf uh, sulfury, meaty and bold character to the end spirit that comes out of the distillery. Um, they also have this bizarre, angry cat uh, in the backstory that when riled or when, ang uh, sorry, when it sensed the different vapour changes in the still room would just bolt out of there. And every distillery's got a cap, but this guy's quite cool. They also use prime numbers as an aging system instead of the traditional 12, 15, 18, 21, uh, 25, 50, whatever. Um, and it's just a really impressive, interesting brand that doesn't want to fit in, but is still delivering amazing results, both for the parent company with all the awards and the amazing kind of uptake it's had over the years, but also for consumers and people like us who are interested in exploring different flavors. This is a challenging whiskey to get into unless you're a whiskey person uh, who's been in, into their drams for a while, but at the same time, try the 13 year old, I'm pretty sure everyone can get on with it. Let's have a go. So on the nose, you're getting a sulfuric smokiness, a lot of apple sweetness there, bit of vanilla. It's quite early in the range for such a bold nose uh, on a whiskey. Normally they're really soft and gentle and then you kind of trade up and graduate into the big beasts or behemoths within a range. Whereas this is very different. Oh, quite herbaceous. Really interesting. It's like a dissolved fruit bowl in a bag of malt. Does that make any sense? Doubt it, but that's the kind of sense I'm getting here. With lots of banana peel, tons and tons of fruit. A lovely fruity sweetness on the palate as well. It's still quite full bodied. Frankly, there's so much fruit here, I'm really hoping this counts as one of my five a day. And if so, maybe we should have five drams of it. Oh. Mm. And the palate, that, that apple sweetness, that herbaceous baked fruit kind of character comes through time and time again with every single sip. Really interesting finish, quite a spicy finish actually, wasn't expecting that. Um, and lingering, about a medium, medium finish here. Bottled at 46% ABV, an absolute stunner. Cheers great dramas, see you soon.